Well, let's get it done then. You know what it is, yes. Again, drew nil-nil at home against Oxford United today in the FA Cup fourth round, which means we've got to force a replay down at their place this time. Oh, I'm still pretty annoyed after how we didn't get that job done the day. Hey, my word. Line-up today that Bruce put out was definitely strong enough to at least progress there to the fifth round. Definitely. So I'm going to give uh, Steve Bruce credit for go putting the strong side out and wanting to go for it. Players let down. Big let down to the fans and the manager the day as well. Pretty much nearly a full sellout at St. James's Park uh, today. And we come away with a scoreless draw. It's just, oh my word, it's just unbelievable. It should not be happening against a League One opposition side. Oh my word. Definitely. So going to the lineup, I only got three um, wrong that I did when I did my predicted lineup in a, in my preview. I thought Dubravka would have kept his place and no Caldolo came in and actually kept were in it towards the end of the game. Because Oxford could have maybe had a goal or two towards the end of the game as well. And maybe a couple of a few chances before that uh, as well. I remember them having it as well. Definitely. Yeah, um, Yedlin actually came back from injury. I thought Hayden was going to stay at right wing back, but no. And the other one that kept his place was Sean Longstaff. I thought Shelby would have come in because he didn't play in the Everton game at all. Didn't come off the bench. He was rested the day John Joe Shelby. So Sean Longstaff kept his place and was not a good performance from Sean Longstaff. And I've been looking at some of the comments our fans have been saying about him. He said, saying that this is not the Sean Longstaff we've seen from last season. And I, I have to agree with that, definitely. I mean, like, what's happened to him? He, we brought him in. He, he'd done well to really come up through the academy. And he's just not looked the same since then. Is it because the tour when he was linked with Man United has gone into his head? I'm not entirely too sure. So you just got to wonder what has happened um, to Sean Longstaff. Yeah, so we're getting to the game and we had a chance through Joe Linton when he had a chance, uh, which was uh, blocked and which um, went out for a corner, hit the side netting. Um, we also had appeal for a penalty when Sid Maximum whipped the ball in the box. Fabian Chair takes a shot. It apparently he's claiming for a handball. And then also Joe Linton's claiming for a foul as well. And both were checked by VAR. And the VAR said, nope, nothing wrong with them at all. He thinks probably the they think probably the handball was not intentional. And also the um foul on Joe Linton, uh, the thing and probably Joe Linton's just looking for that uh, all day long. And speaking of Joe Linton, had to be bandaged up about Three times was it in the game and had to have a change of shirt. Was it twice or something as well? Unbelievable, man. But he did uh, continue all of the game. So that was kind of brave from him uh, to do that, definitely. Oh, he just couldn't take his chances the day. Definitely not. And uh, before half time, one oh had a chance for St. Maximum from about 20 odd yards, which was uh, saved by their goalkeeper. So we'll get a half time and you're thinking, we just really need an upper game. A more at this point and just take what chances second off and oh oh my word Joe Linton ball in the net twice but again but VR again looked offside and I've seen them again both for correct decisions and to me he's got it uh, definitely time his runs a lot more better than that to be fair to him and it was good to see him put his body about the day uh, Joe Linton but didn't time his runs right here for the goals and both are ruled out. And, yep, we're not given, unfortunately. But then, Oxford United also having chances in the game as well through Mackey, Jamie Mackey, former Premier League player who played for QPR. He had one which was blocked. Uh, Baptiste had a one wide. And then Brown, I think it was, nearly could have aimed for the top corner. Dark Carl Dolo really stretching for it. But again, that one just uh, definitely went wide. And um, Joe Linton again had another chance. But he blazed it over the bar on his left foot. And also Almiron as well. Oh, and one he blazed over the bar as well from like a bicycle kick. Oh, so we're having chances. But we're just not taking them. And that has been a massive letdown there for us today, definitely. And again, Oxford towards the end of the game. Oh my word, they could have had a chance which Caldolo managed to collect. 
Oh, and one he had to pull another save off, definitely as well. So he kept it. So called all at the end of the game, keeps the game at nil nil, and there it is, full time. And unfortunately, it is gone to a replay down at their place, which we didn't really need, like we did against Rochdale. But this time we're going away down to Oxford this time. But hopefully we can get revenge on, on them. And yeah, go through to the fifth round. I really just want to end this going out the fourth round uh, cup drought. Uh, FA Cup uh, fourth round drought, definitely. Come on, we've got to progress. We've got to stop this at some point, definitely. I mean, we're not going to do anything in the league. Definitely not. So, oh my word, but... Yeah, but I think what's just let were down the day was the players not taking my chances. As I said, I'll give credit to Bruce for again going for the strong lineup again. It was good to see Bentaleb make his debut today as well. And I remember he actually had a chance as well, which was a call by the keeper. I apologise for that, for not mentioning that a bit earlier. But yeah, but it was just a thing of not taking my chances there the day. And players players have let the manager and the fans down definitely uh, today so there you go then let me know in the comments section how you're feeling after that uh, replay Nuke. I think a lot of fans are going to be so disappointed uh, annoyed about why we didn't get the job done the day Oxford United fans as well how are you feeling now you've managed to get a to take a nil nil draw at our place and then go to a re replay down at your place which will probably be a week and a bit time. So, yeah, as I said, so, yeah, let me know how you're feeling as always. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, a comment, as I've said. And if you haven't checked me out, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Catch us all here. Take care of yourselves. Didn't need another replay at all.